Okay, start. Then, hello, hi, this is Mark, your Data Protection Pal, and today I'm going to share with you this article that was shared by the PTPC and IMDA. It's a really good article, and it talks about what a data breach is all about. And basically, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, a data breach is basically unauthorized access of data, be it personal data or company data. Of course, if it is a breach of personal data, then that will fall under the scope of the PDPA. But if, you, if your company has a lot of critical data, then you might want to be very careful and be aware of these data breaches. And today I'm going to share with you a little bit more about these data breaches. And according to this article by PDPC, there are three types of data breaches. It could be malicious, it could be system error, or due to human error, which is one of the most commonly uh, big, one of the most common causes of, of data breaches. So let me expound a little bit further. So now, this, I'm going to give you some examples of data breaches. And like I said, many of it is due to human error. Yes, humans are very careless. Um, yeah, we are not. We are not for. We are not perfect. But yeah, anyway. So one of the major causes of uh, breach is loss of data, or people leave data lying around, and uh, not uh, deliberately or not de or deliberately or carelessly on a table, and then someone picks it up, and that is a data breach. Yes, a loss of data accidentally is a data breach. Just for you to know. The other common cause of data breach is oversight, where people forgot, forgot to lock the cupboard, forgot to lock the office, lost the, the key card, or maybe lost the hard disk, lost the key, forgot to encrypt the file before uploading. So this is very common cause of breaches. And next is social engineering, where people call in and without checking, an individual in the company just gives out some password and pin number. So that could be uh, caused all by human error. However, there are also a lot of data breaches out there. There are a lot of cyber breaches out there that cause uh, uh, by malicious attacks. And these are spyware, software, even ransomware. These are basically malicious codes or, 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 or software that's being installed on the computer to steal information or even lock the computer. And very commonly used by a lot of hackers is this thing called uh, phishing. And you and I are fished every day. I mean, to go check your spam mail, you will see several emails with several dangerous links that could lead you to pages that are collecting your data without you knowing, or worse, maybe uh, even installing malicious codes into your computer. Another very common uh, cyber attack that uh, hackers use is this thing called denial of service, whereby an uh, app is installed to your computer and prevents you from using your computer or your apps. Sometimes this can be a result of clicking a link or a file that you're not familiar with. Uh, I have a friend who actually used Zoom, and in Zoom, somebody sent a link, a file rather, and he clicked the file, it was an .exe file, and unfortunately the .exe file installed a malicious code to the software, and gave access to the hacker. He spent two weeks trying to undo all that. Uh, it's a really painful process, so please be very careful. Now, um, there are also other attacks called, we call it brute force attacks, where people would deliberately choose you or randomly choose a, a, a target and use several passwords to try to break into the account. Uh, if maybe sometimes you might have received, let's say your Facebook or Google account, you might receive an SMS asking you to key to uh, informing you that you're going to change passwords, that is probably because someone is trying to hack your password. I've got it quite occasionally in my own Facebook account, but fortunately I got 2FA and usually 2FA will inform you when someone is trying to access or change your password. Another one is syndicated attacks where, they, where people plan to attack and this is very common nowadays with the crazy cyberspace today. Theft and site break-ins. This is a human Malicious, air, uh, malicious attack where thieves literally break into the office and steal data, whether it be it personal data or company secrets, and that could still happen today. Although you know it's you can install security cameras, security guards, but all these are also fallible. And again, social engineering. Social engineering is malicious attacks to people like you and I without even using tech. And they use social engineering to steal data, pin numbers from you or your staff. And there was a case recently I knew about a, a domestic helper who actually uh, gave away her pin number to a social engineer, they call it. 
and through the PIN number that was given and even to FA, the perpetrator was able to log into a bank account and steal all the money inside there. So that is a, a malicious attack and all because of a simple phone call without even use of technology. However, other social engineering attacks could, could have the hacker send you a website, a link or a file and if you activate the file, there you go. It could be a spyware, malware or ransomware and you are a subject of the attack. So this is real in Singapore. Many people still do not believe that their targets are cyber attack, but ladies and gentlemen, it is real. And in the Forbes report about cyber security of the world, they're saying that you know it's going to be very serious in the year 2020. And with this situation now in COVID-19, I am very sure that most of us are online. We are subject to a lot of risk. So it is important to make sure you beef up your own cyber security, be very wary of attacks, and make sure you know about what a data breach is so you can protect them. So uh, come by following, look out for the next video where I will talk about how do you prevent these data breaches and to protect yourself from all these cyber attacks. So thank you for this session and I'll see you very soon. This is Mark, your data protection pal, and I'll see you again very soon. Take care and goodbye. See you then.